This is called a pressure port, and I bet you'll never guess what it's for. The pressure port, or more specifically, this sign is often called the gill pressure port after its creator, is a way to try to reduce errors in measuring the atmospheric pressure due to wind. If we just stick a tube out in the atmosphere, then as the wind blows across it and changes directions, we're going to get an influence on that pressure measurement. This is designed to help prevent that. It has no moving parts. Inside, there's a gap, and there's some roughness to try to break the air up and make it more turbulent so we don't get a flow right across where we're sensing. And there's also a clever design of how the air has to make it to the port on the bottom to get to your pressure sensor. These were designed in the 70s, and there's an entire publication that describes exactly all the testing they did. These were designed for the precursor to what is now the National Data Buoy Center, and you find them on pressure sensors everywhere from airports to weather buoys to instrument towers all over the world. It's a simple design, but it's one of those things that you don't really think about being difficult to do until you realize that everything's difficult to do.